Hi, I'm Talia. Um, I play forward and I'm number 27. My name is Lauren Giles and I'm number five. Hey, I'm Caroline Gilbert. I'm a senior and I'm 35 and I play center mid. Hi, I'm Lexi Guerrero. I'm number nine and I play sweeper. Hi, I'm Kira Harrington and I'm number 30. I'm Olivia Jackson, I'm number six, and I play midfield. I'm Kelly Rose, and I'm number 10 on the sock and soccer team. Hi, I'm Annie Rothiker, I'm a senior. I'm number 38, and I play goalie. Hi, I'm Kira Sager, and I'm number 29. Hi, I'm Katie Sharkey, and I'm number eight. <laughs> okay, hi, my name is Jess. I'm a senior, and I played midfield. Hi, my name is Rachel Starr. I'm number 28, and I played defense. I play soccer because I really like the sport, first of all, but I also like, I got back into it in my junior year and I just really always wanted to be a part of the team because everyone was so close and it was just like, it was just like a whole family that I could, like even when I wasn't a part of soccer, I noticed and I like really wanted to be a part of it. So that's why I play soccer. I play soccer because I played since I was really young and I just love playing with some of my best friends. I play soccer because I want to have fun with my friends. I play sock and soccer because I really love the sport. I play soccer because I love the sport and my team. I play soccer for fun and to play with my friends and yeah. I play soccer because I started playing about 11 years ago. It was the first store I started playing. Um, I really loved it from a really young age and um, I wanted to stick with it and I made a lot of friends along the way. I play soccer because I've played ever since I was little, so I've always just enjoyed the sport and all my best friends play with me. I play soccer because I think it's fun. I like to hang out with my friends there and it keeps me in really good shape. I play soccer because it's like my last year of high school and I just wanted to play one last time with all my friends. I play soccer because my parents forced me to as a kid, but I like it now and it's fun and like I'm decent at it. so. It's always a good time and I love team sports because you can all build each other up and have a good time, whether you win or lose. Hey. <laughs> Wait, Lauren's on top of me. This is definitely like... Some of my favorite memories are pasta parties, car rides with Joran, um, sitting on the bus with Rachel Gallagher sophomore year, um, and last year Zoe's um, team sleepover when my group won first place in the dance competition, and Lauren Giles pretended to be P. Diddy for our dance, and that's why we won. <laughs> my favorite so and soccer memories are coordinating my socks with my outfits, baseball, pasta parties, and getting lots of free t-shirts. My favorite soccer memory is just laughing with all the girls, just always having a good time, and definitely Coach Carlos. We're just the greatest friendship there is on the team. My favorite memory is the sock and sleepover at Zoe's house my junior year when we all like got into different groups and we made our dances and then we like competed and videoed each other and it was just like a lot of fun. And like the rest of the activities we did, it was like everyone was bonding the whole night and it was a lot of fun. My favorite Sock and Valley soccer memory um, isn't just like one memory, it's all the little moments and I'd probably say the best moments are um, the whole team collectively after we win like a game, a really hard game coming together, that feeling is really great. My favorite Sock and Soccer memories are foot golf, lip sync battles, and when Lauren's braid came out in the middle of the game. Some of my favorite Sock and Soccer memories are the Southern Lehigh game my sophomore year, Tanager, water balloon fights, bus rides with Kaylee, and the Easter egg hunts. My favorite memory is when I made first team my sophomore year, and then obviously bus rides and pasta parties have always been like good memories, and the water balloon fights, and uh, the Easter egg hunt. <laughs> yeah, those are my favorite memories. <laughs> my favorite sock and soccer <laughs> memories are team sleepovers, foot golf, and winning lip sync battles three years in a row. My favorite sock and soccer memory was Camp Fowler my sophomore year, the first year I started playing, and that's where I met a lot of my closest friends on the team. So I have a lot of 
uh, favorite Saucon Valley soccer memories. My first one is 100% Kate Ross. My, not even like my, I would say freshman year, but it was literally my first day meeting everyone at Saucon Soccer at Camp Fowler. And we just did those hill sprints and like running around the camp. And I felt like throwing up because I had this really weird peanut butter thing from Starbucks right before I came for lunch. And Kate Ross told me to get on all fours and start yakking. I didn't do that, but I also didn't throw up. So that's my favorite Saucon Valley memory. But I also love all the bus rides and playing suddenly high my sophomore year when the parents got in a fight with Kiara Sager's grandma. And I also just love basically every practice and game. My favorite memory from Sock and Soccer would definitely, well, there's a lot, so definitely like all the outside activities that we do as a team, like all the pasta parties, team sleepovers, Camp Fowler, foot golf, um, just all of it, all together, huge, huge little family. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm already like this close, like, oh, put your head down. <laughs> I need another story Something to get off my chest My life gets kinda boring Need something that I can confess Till on my sleeves I stained red From all the truth that I've said To me, sock and soccer means family, pasta parties, just everything, having friends wherever you go. To me, sock and soccer me. It's like a place to forget like any problems that you have like going on like in your day or something. It's like a place to forget about that and like to have like fun with some like with my friends. <laughs> to me, sock and valley soccer means more than just the sport. Um, honestly, when I think about it, I think more of the team aspect and all of the friends I've made along the way, and um, really just like the family that we all are. To me, sock and valley soccer means like home just because it's kind of like the first thing that I connected with in like when I moved to um, Pennsylvania. So it's kind of to me, Sock and Valley is pretty much Sock and Valley soccer. So thank you for being my home. <laughs> to me, Sock and Soccer means always lifting each other up. Sock and Soccer means to me just friendship because you're always there for each other and just everyone's always lifting each other up. And even after a bad day, like we do our high-low cheers and we just always talk it through and just always have a good laugh. To me, Sock and Valley soccer means being dedicated and like putting yourself into something and like committing yourself to it. Even if you feel like you don't want to, like working for not just yourself, but the others on your team to like be successful. So playing a fall sport allows me to meet new friends and then going to the school year, like having all these like faces that you know, walking around the halls to say hi to and to like, especially if you're like you're a freshman, you walk in and you have people to help you out especially it's it's only like a square but like your freshman year everyone struggles <laughs> like if that wasn't just me but like I struggled like my freshman year and if I saw someone from the soccer team they'd always help me out so yeah sock and soccer is the reason why I've been able to build so many close relationships with so many of my best friends and I really view the team as just one big family and I love how we're always there for each other and we're always supporting each other Sock and soccer means to me always having like good friends on and off the field and they're just like a family to you. They're always there and it's like where I've met like all my closest friends. So. Sock and soccer is a learning experience because you get to learn how you work with the team and you can become a better person. To me, sock and soccer means family. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, I just stand there like this. In the Southern Cross So my advice for future soccer players are to come into the season or to preseason in shape, like go to the workouts. They're not mandatory, but like you obviously should go because preseason can be rough and just like be positive throughout the season no matter what happens like be there for each other and stuff <laughs> my advice to future sock and soccer players is to enjoy every moment on and off the field it's going to go by so fast and when you're doing these interviews yourself you're going to wonder where the time went my advice for future players is always try your hardest and have a positive attitude in everything that you do during soccer whether it's like 
games or practices. My advice for future sock and soccer players is to be kind and respectful to everybody because you never know what somebody's going through and a little bit of kindness can brighten their day. My advice for future sock and valley players is to just really appreciate it. Like even the times when you feel like you don't want to be doing it anymore, you just want to go home after school, to just like enjoy the moments, even the moments when you're like doing stuff like running sprints or something like that because it's like making you grow and like improve as a person not just like in soccer but like in general because when I got back into soccer and started playing I found that like it just it helped me with all kinds of different parts of my life because it taught me things like like just dedicating myself to something and sticking with it and like becoming close with other players and you're all when you're all working for like the same goal so my advice is to just appreciate it all and to enjoy it and to like work hard and go to the practices during the summer because it definitely helped me during the preseason to like not be one of the people dying during sprints and stuff so that's all um my advice for any future players that um i know there's a lot of hard workers but even the hard workers sometimes don't really want to work hard you have off days and bad days but it's important to remember um you need to stick you need to stick with it and push through it because it's really rewarding in the end my advice for future players is just to play your best and have fun and just really just enjoy every moment because it really does go quick these four years my advice to the upcoming players is to focus on building the right bond that you need to be on a team regardless of the score at the end of the game or how practice goes or how school day goes you can always work to be in shape and everything but the main important thing that you need is that bond and to build each other up my advice to all you future soccer players would be to one like not take it for granted because high school does go by like really fast not only the soccer season but just school in general and also come to preseason in shape because I never did and I think it's really good advice because it will definitely help you in the future. <laughs> My advice to future players is to always come to preseason in shape and go to like the off-season workouts because they do help even though they might not sound like ideal but they, I promise that they help and then also don't take anything for granted because it all goes by really quick. My advice is to have fun and be nice to your teammates. My advice is to come to preseason in shape because you will regret it if you do not. And appreciate all the little things while they last. Appreciate all your time on the team because it really does go by so fast and it's gonna be over before you know it. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain. Don't Bye, miss. good luck in your season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Bye, guys. I love playing with each and every one of you so much. I'm going to miss you guys a lot. Um, and I wish you the best of luck in all of your future seasons. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to miss you. Good luck with your future seasons. That made me sad. <laughs> I'm really glad I decided to join soccer in high school and goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for all the good times. Bye. <laughs> Am I done? <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Am I done? I'm done. <laughs> Bye guys. I'll miss you. Bye guys, I love playing with all of you and good luck in your future seasons. Bye everybody, I'll miss you. Goodbye Sock and Soccer, thank you for all the memories. My final message to everyone is thank you for everything. Thank you to everyone who like was always nice to me on the team and made me feel included when I came back and like just made me feel part of it. And yeah, that's all, goodbye. Thank you for everything. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna say goodbye now. I'm gonna see you guys in the hallways, and I'm gonna come back, but uh, don't forget me, cause I won't forget you. Goodbye. <laughs> Peace out, Girl Scouts. Can't stop thinking about the way that you control me. Now you wish you'll never know me. I wish you'd come and hold me Hold me Hold me Hold me Hold me
I'm <laughs> gonna really miss you guys, and you guys had fun playing with you guys this season, and best of luck in college. Um, I think the seniors really stepped up this year and became leaders. They always tried to like include everyone, and they made like a positive atmosphere, so I'm really gonna miss them this year. To the seniors this year, thank you so much for being my role model for the last three years. You've carried me through so many different moments, happy moments, sad moments. You've made me laugh, you've made me cry, and I'm gonna miss you guys so much next year. Montag lieben Klausen Globen. <laughs> All right.